dark. Ay, ay, ay. Because I want to paint. Ay. Can I paint? Watch the canvas get splattered. I scribe lines with the truth. Take portraits like Frida Kahlo. I bond bars with the glue. So me grease with the ink. My loose sleeve with the flu. So clearly I am artistically sickly with sticky lyrics. But here we are behind the canvas. I am AI for those who, uh, those of you who may have stumbled across this in some way, shape, or form. I'm back at it. Um, been a lot that was going on. Um, I'm glad to be back in this creative space. So what's up? What's been good? It's been a while since we came into this creative space. Here we are again. And um, I'm hoping that you guys are enlightened by the things that I'm working on. Um, oh my God, it's just been so busy. It's been really busy. As you know, I'm working on this album. All the music is done. All the music has, has been recorded. Um, working real close to, to um, kind of letting the cat out the bag on a lot of different things, rollouts and stuff like that. But, you know, stay, stay engaged, stay tuned. I'm so excited about this project. Uh, I can't wait to, to share it with you all. <sighs> Creating projects is like, it's like life. It's, you know, you go through this process and you're painting and creating and giving it your all and you you want to share it as quick as possible but there's processes and stuff like that but um soon and very soon i'll be able to to talk more about it and give you some more insight so definitely stay tuned to um to that process so if you are new to this this is behind the canvas this is where this is a creative session so this is where i get to like showcase some of the things that i'm working on or you know a project that i'm working on and just kind of show you you know bits and pieces of what i've done uh whether it be video or whether it be uh, maybe it's photography or poetry or what have you sometimes we do live poetry collaborations um you know th back and forth through ig but today I'm going to show you something that's very special to me that I'll be releasing um, as time goes on. Um, part of a bigger project and a bigger like desire of mine that I've been working really hard to try to put together. Uh, so um, if you have any questions, thoughts, anything like that, definitely let me know. This will, you guys can't hear? Who can't hear? If you can't hear for some reason, exit out and then come back in. You should be able to hear. Um, I checked audio, I see my audio levels are good. Um, but uh, like I said, you know, let me know if you, if you can't hear. So if I need to make some changes, you can't hear either. Oh Lord Jesus. Let me see what's going on. Let me see what's going on real quick. Oh, you can hear. Okay, good. If you can hear, good. That means something may be wrong with uh, somebody specifically. Exit out, come back in. You might, it, it may um, uh, end up with better results. Okay, so yeah, behind the canvas, I think I told y'all what that's all about. See, I'm distracted. I got all this tech going on and I'm trying to stay focused and hone in and uh, make sure that um, I'm staying on point here. Listen, I'm actually not trying to be before you too long. I want to get in here and then uh, show you some stuff and then pop out. And then what I would like to do is pop back on regular style and just bring people in and we can have a conversation. Uh, let's see. Love y'all, but I'm going to have to sign out and try to come back in. This has been my whole day like this <laughs> from my phone to my work computer, man, all day with the screens. I'm good on this Apple Android users only. Yeah, um, it should work for whatever you have. Uh, but let's get into it. So today, here's what I want to show you. Um, here's what I want to show you guys that I'm working on. So yeah, here's my workstation. Today, I'm going to be working in Final Cut. And I'm going to show you something that um, I'm really, really excited about. And um, it's part of a bigger project, like I said, and is really, really dope and innovative. 
and I can't wait to get it done and package it up to showcase everybody. So y'all kind of the first ones to check this out. So it's kind of like a exclusive. All right, so here we go. First and foremost, I don't think the audio is gonna be too great, but we'll see. Y'all see that? Probably not gonna be able to hear it that well. So that's how much I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Um, so what, what this is, what I'm getting ready to show you is a visual that I like had in my mind and I wanted to create. And it's based off of a mural and, and this idea, this statement that was made on the mural. And um, because I work with young people and I really truly want to be able to, um, <sighs> I really want to be able to um, uh, help young people create in the best way possible and get their creative ideas out. I wanted to uh, give them this opportunity to uh, express themselves and how they felt about this statement that was made on this mural. So uh, let me transition real quick. So I brought together just two young people. One was my son and then it was another um, young lady who was about 12 and um, another young lady who's 12 as well. My son is 13. So I wanted these young voices to come together. So I pulled them together, um, two out of the three, created a they created a poem based off of the statement that was made on this mural. And then from there, um, I styled them up and had them be part of this creative visual. So they created a poem called Black Is, and I captured them in different, you know, you know, different poses and things like that. And, and I'm meshing it together to create this like visual poem. All right, so uh, really quick, I'm gonna show you the raw footage that I captured. So here's, here's some of the footage. You know, this is the mural that was painted on this particular um, this particular building. And what I did was I went handheld for this whole thing. I wanted that like jittery look. I wanted that feel of like fresh and m like movement. I could have used the gimbal, but I really wanted that like that jittery look, uh, like unstable kind of sort of thing. So on this mural, as you can see, it says, love black girls, even when they become women, love black boys, even when they become men. And so I wanted to take this idea and insert these young people into it to make a statement like, you know, What's your statement going to be based off of this, this, um, this, this statement that's being made? So I brought these two young people in, my son and this young lady, and they, and I asked them some questions about this mural and how they felt about it and what was their first initial thoughts. And they talked about, you know, why they believed that this statement was needed. They talked about how they felt about it. They talked about why it's why it even exists why does it even need to be said um very sharp young people uh and they they talked a lot about you know the the idea behind it, you know young black girls and young black boys seeming as if they're being valued in certain regards but as they get older they become feared or they become looked at in a different way so it was very interesting to hear from them so yeah, this is some of the, you know, some other footage that I captured, uh, some more shots, like some still shots of them standing. As you can see in this shot, I have them standing here and then I did another shot where they're switched. Uh, I wanted to like flip that or, you know, chop to a different look where it, it just looks like they've popped into, into different places. So here's another shot, just different angles. Um, they were all styled up. These are f ideas that I had. I wanted them to be in all black. I wanted them to have like these different, you know, elements on them. My sister uh, went and looked up different looks as well and shipped them over to me so that we could get them all styled up. The young lady has on a, a crown and my son has on this like Kango, almost like Black Pantherish kind of looking hat. And then he has on the leather jacket. Uh, she has on the black blazer, you know. For those of you who may catch my lives, you saw this happen 
like live. So um, I took all this footage and put it together. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, we make a pretty decent statement. Uh oh, let's turn this audio down. Yikes. That audio is not where I want it to be. Yikes. I got some staticky audio. Can y'all still hear me? <laughs> we not black or white, we're light. <laughs> we are different shades. We are brown, but we understand what this means. But um, yeah, here's some different um shots. Let me make sure my audio is good. Yep, my audio looks like it's still good. So yeah, like I said, just different shots um of them, right? So boom. So we got that and then we transition over here so that you can see this. So now we're back at the final cut. So the idea was to then take all of those shots and place them together and um, kind of, you know, edit them so that it's striking. I had to find certain music. I had to grab certain sounds, put them together to match the idea that I had in my mind, which can be very, very difficult, man. The process of like seeing something in your mind and then trying to take that out and then like craft it to become something can be very difficult and exhausting. But like, you know, when it when it happens the way you like it, it's just exhilarating. Like it really feels great when when you're able to really like make it happen. So boom. So then I had to like find the right font styles. I went from like you see these big giant words on the screen. I like this look for some reason. Like I like this like like in your face, boom, with these with these words and stuff like that. At first I had them really small and I'm like, no, nah, let's take this up a notch and make it big. Uh, so so we get something like this and I hope you guys can hear the audio. I probably can't hear that well. My black has many shades of chalk. So before we get into all of that. Remember I said that I took them together, um, my son Isaac and this young lady, I put them into, we had a Zoom call and um, I talked to them about this whole idea of what this statement means to them. And then they worked on a collaborative poem, which then we recorded them saying the poem and we used it for this piece to like create this like visual poem for them. Uh, so as you can see, like, my style when it comes to visuals i'm all about like striking sounds i'm all about cinematic sounds and uh, making sure that those sounds um move with the audio so that you can feel it when it when it pops up on the screen so i hope like i'm gonna work i want to work harder on like getting the audio for this situation a little better because i like the sound is so important to this thing that you really have to like feel it and understand where it's coming from if it's too low you're not going to be able to feel it like i want you to feel it but um for the you know for the sake of this just want to show you the portion of um the text and the audio like cutting every doom 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 boom boom age and it's like striking and so this is the the um this is like the beginning of the the poem somebody gotta chop up a wedding video man and here's where that poem begins my black is many shades of chocolate my black is peace Oh, something I didn't tell y'all. So I have a mentee who's 12, who I've been working with for a couple weeks now. And she was on set and I had her capture photos. So the photos that you see in the video are photos that she captured. So being able to take 
these young people and like give them all of me because I need them to be the best that they could be so that when when I'm done and I can't do this no more, we have some seeds that can continue this 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 culture of capturing and being creative. They're here while I I, I don't pass. Let me pass the torch. And so um, this young lady, she's really cool. She's like a cool young lady, man. She's already dope. And uh, so she captured the photos that you see that are in this video. Trials, forgiveness, I'm black is freedom. My black is beautiful. My black is respect. My black is true. My black is love. All about the sound. All this sound, I orchestrated together in order to get it. All of these sounds I had to put together. You see that shot I used? Oof. Did y'all see that? You know how long it took to do this? <laughs> it took like forever to do this. And 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 not necessarily like shaping the the um frames, just like what's going to work within this space at this particular time and what sound is going to go with it to make it flow so that it's impactful to the viewer, you know? So when we see this particular clip, we can feel something when you, you know, when you, when you're experiencing it, so, you know, it goes, sound is so important to the whole process. So you see how I use that clip? Um, remember over here, Remember this clip right oof, right here? Remember this clip and this clip? These are the two clips you're going to see in a second in this shot. So let's go back real quick. See, watch. Boom. See how that switched? And I like the idea of going from color to black and white. I don't know what it was, but I just was like, man, I like this. It looks pretty cool to go back and forth to those different color spaces. So yeah, like, uh, and I'm still working on this. Like it's some other little elements that I want to add. Um, but for the most part, this is a good like backbone. This is a good foundation. Um, and from here, I'm just going to keep working and building on it to make maybe a little like tiny elements of certain stuff. Um, but f for the most part, like that's that's the feel that I wanted to give on uh, the idea of young people being creative. They work together to create this poem um getting them together like this is the type of stuff that I want to do and this is the like the main mission behind everything that I do which when I start rolling things out um you'll see that this is the heartbeat behind all of the things that I'm doing so the more that y'all support me in any way possible the more that I can do this type of work this is what I want to do this is what it's about working with young people investing all I, all that I can into them so that they can be better than me and that they can like do whatever it is that they can come up with in their mind and working with them now will help them see like, yo, I can come up with an idea and then I can make it happen by working with other people, other like-minded people and working in a team. When I work with young people, I'm trying to teach them soft skills and life skills understanding how to work in a team, understanding how to collaborate, understanding how to accept critiques, understanding how to give critiques, um, and just like being creative and having having these skills to operate at the best of their ability um, because it's important. I need them to be great because one day I'm going to be old and I'm going to need them to take care of me and the rest of us. And so I needed them to be thinking as best as they can and to have an open mind and their um, perspective to be expanded. So yeah, man, like this is, yo, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. This is what it's about right here. Um, and I can't wait to continue to do this type of work 
man, I'm telling y'all the projects that I want to do with groups of young people, the things that I got set up. I'm like so excited. I can't, I cannot wait. And then this is what it's all about. Like being able to like do what you love and um, make, make things shake, make things happen. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to roll through this. <laughs> Somebody said I ain't old. I'm going to roll through this and um, show y'all this uh, all the way through real quick. My black is many shades of chocolate. My black is peace, trials, forgiveness. My black is freedom. My black is beautiful. My black is respect. My black is true. My black is love. until this is where I want it to be. Oh my God, I can't wait. It's looking good so far. I'm pretty excited about it. So definitely be showcasing this, excuse me, when it's all complete and um, ready to roll out, man. Uh, I can't, I cannot like, I cannot like put in the words like how excited this is. Whoop, <laughs> that exciting. Um, I'm just looking at a couple comments right here before, um, uh, listen real quick, like I'm going to leave out of the live, I'm going to save it obviously, and it's going to be posted. And then, um, I'm going to come back though, so that I can conversate, like have a conversation with whoever is willing. So definitely come back. Um, but I'm looking at some, you know, I'm looking for questions. If anybody has any questions, um, specifically, um, uh, not seeing any specific questions but you can always ask me questions um when i come back in and just do like a regular ig live um hold up final cut pro is one price right not monthly subscription yep final cut has one price and i believe it's 2.99 is you know that's that's is in my opinion it's not necessarily um that's not expensive in my opinion my daughter is five and she takes pictures better than me Kids are the best photographers. Yeah, man. Kids are just dope, period. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Somebody said, I've seen plenty of Black Pride content, but none with your touch. I appreciate it. I just want to be able to use the platform to give young people the opportunity like the bigger my platform the bigger the opportunities these young people are going to have you know i feel like it's my duty to um continue to give young people opportunities because i was given opportunities so this is my life like i i'm not gonna you know it's it's nothing else like this is it this is what i want to do with my life and i knew that when i was younger i knew that like i was gonna work with whatever I can learn, whatever skills I can get, I'm going to help the next generation of creatives be dope. And so, you know, that's all I'm trying to do. So yeah, the the whole idea today was just to show you like this is so this is one of the projects I'm working on. And then I got another project that I'm working on with one of my mentees through uh, a movement that I started called Young and Focus. I have about uh, maybe eight young people that I, I help out in, in different regards, um, whether it be giving them tips or giving them resources, tools, 
Um, I've highlighted some of these young people and, you know, through visuals, um, video interviews, um, also uh, invested in these young people, not just only my time or energy, but money, monetary investments into what they're doing, because I think it's important for them to feel like, oh, shoot, you respect me enough to give me um Maybe it's not money, but to give me this item that I need in order to propel me into the next space so that I could be great. And I think that that's important. And I, and I, you know, I work hard to be able to do that for the next generation. So I got about like eight young people that I focus my energy and time to. And then outside of that, I have some young photographers that I mentor. Um, and um, I'm working on some other things as well to build up like the next generation of content creators and uh, to teach them everything that I know, to teach them all of this, like how this looks, like teach them graphic design, teach them how to do uh, live streaming and make it look good. Uh, just to give give everything that I have to them so that they can have the tools and the necessary resources so they could be great. But not only that though, not only teaching them these skills to make things look great and the graphic design and the video stuff, but also understanding how to be committed to a task, understanding how to be consistent with something, understanding how to communicate with one another, understanding how to be a team player, understanding how to be proactive, those seven habits that I spoke about earlier. All of those things are important um, in, in your growth and development, not only having the skills and the know-how of doing things, but also knowing how to move accordingly, how to have emotional maturity, you know, um, understanding how to walk through certain circumstances with that emotional maturity intact so that you can be respected, you know, and, and um, you know, be able to hold it down in certain circumstances, because I think above all, that is what's needed the most, because um, our young people are going to be adults at some point. And the more that we instill these these soft skills, these life skills, the more they're going they're going to be ready for the real world, you know, and uh, I think sometimes we forget that and uh, we forget that our young people are actually human beings. And um, we kind of put them to the side. As you can see during this whole circumstances of uh, the pandemic, who who was the who was the one uh, demographic or uh, people group that didn't get asked questions? Young people. It's just like okay, take this. This is what we're going to do. This is what idea. This is the uh, these are the ideas that we have in here. This is what you're going to have to deal with. No school. You're going to go remote. No one's asking them the questions. No one's um, you know, pr proposing the idea of what do you think would be great. How would you look at this? You know, and which is why like, um. There's a entity that came to me about a project. Um, I'm actually contracted with them for a project um, to, you know, I did like some roundtable discussions with some teens and we asked them, how do you reimagine school? How do you reimagine after school programming? And um, it was very interesting to hear the feedback from these teens. Uh, it, it was dope. You know, I was able to facilitate this roundtable discussion with about like 19 young people and and we were able to learn a lot. Now, the thing is, now we take what we learned about how they feel and we create something that's going to be impactful for them. You know, so I think it's important to listen to the voices of the young people um, so that we can help them create something that's going to be beneficial for their generation as they get older. Like we can't forget about them. They're, they're going to step into our spaces. Excuse me. They're going to do the things that, you know, we would need in the future or the present, really. You know, so not to go on a tangent, but that's that's how I feel. That's behind the canvas. That's that's who, who I am behind all of the rapping and stuff like that. This is this is what it's about right here. Um, but like I said, I wasn't going to try to do too much. Um, yes. Yeah, uh, somebody. So I got some notes and stuff in here. Do 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 do. AI for president. I don't know if I want that job, bro. Nah, they could keep that. You ever think about making a superhero short film? Yes, with some young people. That'd be dope. Um, your big AI. Dope, thanks. 
late to the party. Oh, you missed it, Pastor Fury. You missed it, but it'll replay. You'll see the replay. Somebody said, excellent, well done. Thank you for sharing the process and the thinking behind it. No doubt. Somebody said, purposeful. Uh, Mikey, man, this has me so lit. Being able to pour into others. Yeah, it's important. You know what you're saying? You need to mentor parents. Mm, interesting. Is Final Cut a set price or monthly subscription? It's a set price, $2.99. Um, emotional maturity. Thanks for that, sis. They are actual human beings who will be adults one day. Yes, you are real, you are real life doing it. Thanks. Final Cut is one price. Thanks. It's not cheap, though. Eh, I think for me, I think it's reasonable only because for what I use it for. Like, I don't... $2.99? I done been paid that that's already come come back because of the different contracts and jobs that I have. So it really depends on what you're doing, how you're going to use it. Make sure you you think about, OK, how can I how can I get this? How can I make it profitable? You know what I mean? It's a business like I run a business. So at this point, you know, it's whatever. But um, always make always make right decisions when it comes to purchasing um, software and things like that. But yo. I got to get out of here so I could come back and we can actually have a discussion. People can hop in and we can dialogue and talk. Let's talk youth development. Let's talk creativity. Let's talk creating something. Let's talk process, whatever it is. I want people to pop in. You know what I mean? So um, somebody said facts. It's an investment. Same thing when I bought Logic. It's an investment. Yeah. Somebody said don't leave. Listen. I want to be able to have people um, request to go live and I can't do it in this way because of the system that I have. Uh, so I have to pop off and then pop back in. All right. But um, I appreciate each and every one of you for popping in here. Yo, for real. I really do appreciate you taking the time to hop in here. You didn't have to. You saw my little name pop up and it said go on live and you chose to click my little face and here I am and now you got to know a little bit more about me and I don't take that for granted I really appreciate you um if you want to know more about what's going on what I got going on I have a blog um I have a you know email system that you guys can uh definitely be part of by clicking the link in the bio scroll down join a journey um you know things that I, I rarely you know promote is that i have shirts pray push persevere shirts if you want to purchase one of those purchases portion of those proceeds go to what i'm trying to do here work with young people to make them better um invest in the next generation of young people so just know when you purchase something when you support that's where it's going because that's my passion and that's what i want to do with my life um other than that you know continue to follow the journey sign up for that email so you can find out some information i got a lot of new things happening a lot of new things that i want to share pray push persevere and in everything that you do y'all make sure what y'all make sure y'all what go all in all right i'm out of here see y'all next time hey is this art aye, aye, aye. I wanna paint. Guys. Can I paint? Watch the canvas get splattered. I scribe lines with the truth. Take portraits like Frida Kahlo. I bond bars with the glue. So me grease with the ink. My loose sleeve with the flu. So clearly I am artistically sickly with sticky lips.